Hello friends, I hope you're all doing really fine. My voice is like really muddy right now, but uh, I made, made these sketches the other day in a restaurant and it was inspired by something not that that happened, but we were in the park, uh, me, my little brother, my little sister, and my dad, and we saw these really beautiful, they look like butterflies at first, um, but actually they did have that long tail that dragonflies, a dragonfly has. And I don't know, it was just so beautiful and they had this really strong green bluish sheen. So I got really inspired to draw dragonflies and that's how I started doing this thing. Um, if, if you have been watching me, you know, like <laughs> I don't usually do watercolors. I have a couple of watercolor videos, but it's definitely not what I'm good at. Uh, I mostly draw with watercolors when I'm traveling because I have this amazing traveling kit and also this bigger um, watercolor kit because in, I only have tubes and stuff for acrylic paints and I don't really bring those anywhere even though I totally wish to because that's what I'm more into now and it's more the form that I feel comfortable in and um, so yeah I'm drawing watercolors here but um, I don't know any techniques or stuff like that. I just draw and I, I just kind of drew on top of the sketches and everything. Yeah, but they were just so beautiful, these dragonflies, but they didn't look like the big dragonfly, like the one I'm drawing here, that's like a real, real one, you know? But they look kind of like um, zoomed in mosquitoes, you know? Um, the one I'm starting to paint right now, the blue one, that's the type that we saw. Um, and they were doing this dance thing around each other, and it was just so pretty. And we got some nice pictures too. But yeah, the kids got really excited about it, and there was also this stream, and <laughs> kids get excited about everything. So yeah, I'm sorry I can't talk about any techniques or stuff like that, because I don't know any. I just kind of mix the colors together, go for it. Um, I did take a acrylic, not acrylic, a watercolor course once, but uh, it was really bad stuff that I made, like... I didn't really um, learn anything, I guess, practice, like you just do it kind of. And in this one, I'm not really worrying about the lines and stuff, but they're just sketches. Um, I just see a color and I put it on there. So yeah, I, I just really wanted to draw something and it's a really great one to bring with you. So yeah, I'm actually really happy with these sketches. I really like them and oh, insights are so beautiful. And I was looking at other like animals that were so intriguing, so many insects and have you ever done that when you search like unique insects on Google or Pinterest and you like get scared to scroll down because you don't know if the insects are going to be like beautiful or kind of scary. <laughs> uh, I don't know if that's weird but I totally feel like that sometimes and there was this one um, insect that I found that I've never seen before and I think it was called like a silk worm or something um, and it was like this huge moth creature but it had basically fur on its wings and everywhere and I don't know if I wish it was gonna be like freaked out or if it was the cutest thing I ever seen it was quite brilliant actually and I also saw this video um, where they found like a rainbow colored octopus uh, and, and it was just so amazing oh my god I get so like kind of like a fan girly <laughs> or like wonderstruck when it comes to like insect interesting animals and insects like I just think it's so cool so I'll probably be drawing more of that in the future and I also think this one's really cute it's like so such a big close-up yeah it was really fun I really enjoyed it I'm really glad I didn't put any like black outlines or color around it I was considering it but uh, the dots I'm drawing now is just kind of the water or the color the light reflecting on the wings because they were actually see-through and I didn't really know what color to put on the wings but they did have this like purplish sheen on it um, on the last one I drew. I only had this uh, gel Muji gel roll pen so that's what I used and I struggled a little bit with the pattern on the wings because it's like so tiny and so faint in some areas so I kind of wanted to make it be there but I didn't want to draw all the lines because not only would it take ages, but it wouldn't look good. It would take away the whole point. Um, and this dragonfly right here, the red one, did actually have white lines, but I didn't have a white gel roll, so um, that's how that turned out. 
um, yeah, and I just included this little like ladybug because I just thought it was so cute. Like it just came up on Pinterest while I was drawing these other stuff. But yeah, like some parts of the anatomy, I don't really know <laughs> anything about. Like the part where the leg connects to the body and the body connects to the wings or the wings connect to the butt. So I just draw small little circles in between because that's kind of what it looks like. But I guess it's like some sort of joints um, in a way. And I think you can tell like while I'm doing the fine lining that I get a better uh, sense of what the patterns on the wings look like. Like it just becomes better as I go along, like while I'm figuring it out. And since they're not like they're only sketches, um, I obviously didn't do need to do other sketches to figure how, out how that worked. Yeah. Yeah, this is the one that had this purple um, sheen on it. And I think it would be cool if I could somehow have used like a shiny gel roll, for example, silver, or even if it was like a purple gel roll, that would look really nice. And I think the second wing there looks really great with the lines in between. Um, yeah, I think it's hard to draw things that are like transparent because you can't see. And even how shiny they are, it's really hard to come across because they're so vibrant the color is amazing even though the color is bright when I draw it it's not uh, it's not like the same amount of strength and magical effect I guess you could say a minor update on the 100 heads challenge I will definitely get back to that and I'm still finishing it completing it drawing it everything but I have not drawn anything more since the last video I uploaded because it's just I don't know <laughs> I really want to finish it, but it's taking a lot of time, so I'm also figuring out what to do for the last uh, 15 heads or so, because I was thinking maybe I should freestyle it, which is something I don't do when it comes to drawing faces and heads. I think it's super difficult, but I think it would kind of be the ultimate test on seeing what I've actually learned from doing the 100 heads challenge and seeing what traits and what techniques I've picked up. So maybe it will be the worst one yet, but it will definitely be um, a video that needs to be made in a sense. Because I really need to do it anyways, um, so that might as well be the last video. So yes, this is like a quick overview. I did do this outline thing of it to make it kind of look like it all fit together into one piece. And I guess it doesn't really make sense that all of these animals are in one, but I really like it. I hope you have a brilliant, brilliant day and take care guys. Stay magical. <laughs>